identifying soil conditions. When installing trench shields, soil conditions fall into two basic categories. Stable soil conditions are present where the trench walls remain standing during trench excavation. Unstable soil conditions are where the trench walls cave in during trench excavation. To use a trench shield in stable soil conditions, excavate your trench approximately 6 inches or 15 centimeters wider on each side of your trench shield. Excavate to a depth within 36 inches or 1 meter of your pipe grade. Set trench shield in place. To reach final grade, excavate from within the trench shield. When final grade is reached, install your pipe and repeat this process. If your spreaders are under 6 feet or 1.8 meters, use the excavator bucket to pull your trench shield forward. If your spreaders are over 6 feet or 1.8 meters, pull your trench shield forward using an appropriate chain or cable attached to pulling lugs mounted to the front end of each trench shield sidewall. Using a trench shield in unstable soil conditions, sand, muck, or mud will cave in as you dig. To overcome this problem, excavate your trench to a depth where the trench walls begin to cave in, install your trench shield, and begin excavating from within the trench shield. The excavator operator can help to lower and level the trench shield during excavation by pushing down on the top rail of the shield sidewalls with the excavator bucket. Continue this process until the trench shield reaches the required depth the pipe is to be installed. Install your pipe bedding material if required and place your pipe into position. Then excavate in front of the trench shield until you can pull your trench shield up and forward. Now. Excavate out of the inside of the trench shield again until you can lay your pipe to grade and repeat this process. Stacking trench shields. You can also stack your efficiency trench shields for deeper pipe installations. Two trench shields with knife edges can easily be stacked by installing the first trench shield with the knife edge down into the trench and placing the second trench shield with the knife edge up on top of the first as shown. Stacked trench shields can quickly be connected using either stacking pockets that are attached to the ends of each sidewall or fast stack brackets that fit on top of the spreader pipe or trench shield sidewalls. Three or more trench shields can be stacked using special stacking sections. First, place your first trench shield down into the trench, knife edge down, Lower the special stacking section onto your bottom shield and put the stacking pins in place. Then lower the top shield into position, knife edge up, and put the stacking pins in place. You are now ready to install deep pipe. If you need to stack shields in unstable soil, simply continue to excavate from within the trench shield sidewalls and add stacking sections as required until you have reached the required pipe depth. This method can also be used in stable soil conditions. Using your trench shield to keep your excavation narrow can save you thousands of dollars on your utility jobs. In this illustration, you can see the amount of soil that would have to be excavated if you were not using a trench shield and sloping back your trench walls to OSHA or other safety requirements. You can see how the excavation cycle time is reduced using just one trench shield and how the excavation cycle time is reduced dramatically using two trench shields. From 72 excavator cycles per pipe installation using one trench shield to 39.5 cycles per pipe installation using two trench shields. As you can see, trench shields can greatly reduce your trench excavation time, lower your pipe installation costs, and increase productivity. Trench shields can protect both existing cross-trench utilities and utilities that run parallel to your new pipe installation. In congested conditions, trench shields may be the only way you can install utility lines without causing trench cave-ins or excessive damage to streets, sidewalks, or power lines. Plus, trench shields allow you to keep your trench to an absolute minimum width in congested traffic conditions where normal heavy traffic flow must be maintained. 
Your standard trench shield can also be used for many other applications, such as boring jobs, coffer dams, tank installation and removal, installation and replacement of hydrants and valves, pipe tapping and connections, footings and foundation installation, the wide variety of lightweight shielding that can be used with smaller rubber tired or track excavation equipment. This includes a series of lightweight steel and aluminum trench shields. Build-a-box is an example of a shield system that can be put together by two workers, then easily handled by your smaller excavator or rubber-tired backhoe. Narrow wall steel trench shields can also be handled by your smaller equipment. These smaller trench shields are ideal for a wide variety of small utility installation and maintenance projects. Remember, whatever shielding problem you may encounter, there is a shielding and shoring product to meet your requirement. Stone Miser for bedding stone storage is an excellent production tool that helps save your bedding stone and speeds up production. Your excavator operator never has to wait for bedding stone. Inner shield liner eliminates the need for steel plates or sheeting and helps you place your pipe to grade in poor soil condition. Trench Shield can reduce employee injuries by providing safer working conditions, lower excavation, trucking, and trench backfill costs, protect and reduce damage to existing utilities, reduce roadway and landscape restoration costs. Trench Shield can save you money on every job and dramatically increase your job profitability. Your shielding and shoring partner helping to increase your project productivity through quality education and training, providing the widest selection of shielding and shoring products in the world.